This is the men's 50 metres backstroke S4 classification final. And we have three athletes from Mexico, two from the Czech Republic and one each from Brazil, China and Italy. And the man from Mexico who's swimming in lane six wants to win a fifth consecutive title at the Paralympic Games. Can he do it? Well, the huge cheer you can hear is for the Brazilian athlete, Ronestoni Cordeiro. He'll be introduced second. First on your screen is Ethman Morelli. He was the bronze medalist in the 50 metres backstroke. He's 36. He's also competed in para rowing. Came back from a serious neck injury in 2014. Well, coming out to the rapturous applause is Ronestoni Cordero from Brazil. He's chasing his first Paralympic medal. These are his second games. He was sixth at the World Championships in this event. He's 36. And the question is whether the crowd can carry him through this final and into a medal position. Jan Hovasil from the Czech Republic has been making finals here. He was fourth in this event in London. He does tend to prefer the freestyle events. His qualifying time of 48 minutes doesn't see him quite in the mix for medals, but it is a final and anything can happen. Gustavo Sanchez Martinez, the first of the three Mexican athletes to be introduced. He was the bronze medalist in London, fourth at the World Championships in 2015. He won four medals in London back in 2012. He's 22 years of age. Juan Reyes, the man trying to create history. This is his only event in Rio. He has been the champion for four successive Paralympic Games gold in London, Beijing, Athens and Sydney and he's just 34. He's achieved so much already in his career. Jesus Hernandez Hernandez also swimming from Mexico in lane three. He'll also swim in the 200 metres free. This is his first Paralympic Games. He's 24. One of the athletes aiming to deny Ray's his gene dream is Liu Luntao from China, from Zhejiang. He's swimming two events in Rio. He's also going to compete in the 200 metres freestyle, freestyle and posted a quick qualification time of 44.42. The man who's won the fastest to qualify for this final is Arnos Petracek trying to win the first gold medal for his home country. He was fifth in London, fourth in Beijing. He wants his first Paralympic medal, the finance student. So Mexico has three in the final, swimming in lanes two, three and six. Reyes, who is the world record and Paralympic record holder and desperately would love to win this event for the fifth time. It would be an extraordinary achievement. He swam a time of 45.96 to qualify for the final. Hernandez Hernandez in three, swam a 44.49. Liu swam at 44.42 and Petracek the quickest at 43.69. So there's the four serious medal contenders on the inside lanes. Cordero, Sanchez, Martinez, Hernandez, Hernandez, Petracek, Liu, Reyes, Povacil and Morelli. big moment for Juan Reyes and he took a moment there on the blocks appeared extremely calm and still so he'll have Liu to his right hand side and then another lane over lane four Petracek the quickest qualifier showing excellent form across the 50 meter distance
The huge cheer is for the Brazilian athlete Cordero in lane one, but it's Reyes initially at least who seems to have the early margin, although Petrocek is challenging in lane four. It's going to be close between the pair of them because they're looking very, very level at the halfway mark. It could well be Petrocek who's eking out the advantage with only 20 metres of the pool left to go. I fear that the margin is going to be too much for Reyes to overcome to snare his fifth gold medal in a row. It's going to be Petrocek. He's on world record pace. It's going to, a lot will depend in the last couple of metres whether he can push right to the wall. It will be Petrocek claiming the gold. <laughs> Liu Silva, Hernandez, Hernandez, bronze, and Reyes has been denied. It looked as though he was very close for a minor medal. But the moment belongs to the man who qualified quickest, Petracek. 43-1-2. So Reyes world record and Paralympic record will stand. China's Liu on your screen there. Swam at 45-0-1. And Hernandez Hernandez from Mexico, 45-3-0. Well, it's a big moment for Petracek. And uh, you can see in the replay there, Reyes did get away to a terrific start, but just couldn't seem to, to catch Petracek in the final 25. Yeah, he, he, he's passed his very best. It's, uh, it's unfortunate to say when it comes to, uh, to Reyes, but the fact that he was even swimming in this final is quite remarkable. He, he absolutely dominated this event for the last 15 odd years. I mean, it took uh, Roman Stanov, uh, he was the first person to beat him in 15 years of international competition at the Worlds last year, which gives you an indication of just how dominant uh, and, and how long that span of his dominance has been. But misses out on even a medal here at uh, Rio 2016. But credit to Petrocek, Liu and Hernandez. Petrocek, Liu, Hernandez, Hernandez. The top three finishes, gold, silver and bronze, and Reyes, perhaps a tad unlucky there.